A century of changing our clocks twice a year might soon be coming to an end. As some of us continue to recover from switching to daylight saving time last weekend, Megan Kernan spoke with some sleep experts about the move to make it permanent. We all know that it doesn't feel very good to lose an hour of sleep. Most of us can agree it would be nice to do away with changing our clocks twice a year and preserve our sleep schedules. And just a few days ago, the U.S. Senate took quick action to approve the Sunshine Protection Bill that would make DST permanent. It needs to go to Congress next and have their review and approval before something like this could happen. There's debate among health experts about whether to permanently spring forward or fall back. When we set our clocks to daylight saving time, we actually misalign our social schedules with the sun clock, and that can also cause long-term health outcomes. Sleep medicine experts say evidence shows the time change poses more risk than just losing an hour of sleep. Things like heart attacks or stroke, depression and anxiety, and deadly vehicle crashes all occur within the first two weeks after daylight saving time. Maintaining standard time across the full year is the best choice. Maintaining daylight savings time across the full year is not as good, but it's second preferred choice. And the last uh, and worst scenario is what we're, we're in right now. No matter which time is chosen, sleep experts also say people will be happy to let the sun set on changing clocks once and for all. By removing this transition and putting it in whatever, in daylight savings time or in standard time across the whole year, it will be better than what we do right now.